Now, against my better judgment, I did tell them this has only been sprayed two hours, but we really, 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 really need to space it in the workshop. What do you reckon, Biscuit? Bad idea? Look at that, look. Tank ticking over by, and all you can do is yawn. Just yawn. Yes, all seems to be going nicely. We're keeping up with the containers. containers a day, two tanks in each container, and I'll tell you what, it's got our concentration, we're running around like um, lunatics, and on top of that, we've got to get Heiko's tank finished for this big thing in London, it's got to have the wiggly pattern, and it takes him a whole week to go wiggly wiggly, now, um, um, we've still got to put a pack in it, but uh, we've had an idea, inside all the hatch pads, uh, commander's hatches and the uh, and the driver's hatches we've got this stuff have a look at this now this is quite glorious this is um, Dan does a lot of needlework in his own in his own uh, spare time and he's gonna make one of them Second World War jerkins to go with the Second World War motorbike he's getting yeah. but I um, you know I'm looking at it and I've stole it off him he doesn't know I've got it yet it actually tastes of chocolate, I keep licking it, and I reckon I could cut that and make some really nice pads out of that to go inside these hatches. Wouldn't they look so bloody posh? And uh, note the use of a uh, track pin there to put my um, mirror on. But isn't she looking splendiferous? And this is the old dog that we dragged in from outside. Now, can I say old dog? Not really, could offend a lot of ex-girlfriends. But all in all, it's um, 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 bin boxes on the back, new lights, and then um, needle gun the wheels tonight. Is that my dinner? No, nothing to do with you. I got that, that down the tip. That, that cost five quid, that did. That was what? What's going on here? You'd only waste it. Um, what, what, you, your needlework is... These are never... the hatch pads that are going in the top of the commander's cupola on the Abbot. And um, this brown material, it's a bit some um, Second World war don't you reckon? But... I think it'll go in nicely on a tank. Tom yeah. said his um, grandmother used to have something like this on her dining room table. Yeah, we and definitely do. You did. know what? I think my grandmother did as well. Bloody amazing! We could be related. I hope not. Well, no. What I'm thinking is that <laughs> the, probably the bloke who sold this was getting about a bit. So uh, you never know. Can be a small uh, world. Can't all it? comes back down to one person. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning about the Inuits at the moment. Funny old lot, a lot of wife swapping going on. Oh, maybe we've got something to learn. Yeah. Well, uh, why have green when you can have brown? I think it looked very nice on that, but let's go and have a rummage. <laughs> well, uh, we've been told that it's all about speed and they want mechanically perfect, but they don't worry about the, uh, the cosmetics. So this one here looking a little bit scabby around the undercarriage. They don't care. Just while I'm in there. We do have to do our... Pardon? Okay. Is the seat on the floor? No, it's got in it. I'll have to get one. Alright, have a look through the periscopes. I'm not suggesting he tries to reverse and drive using the pedal. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I know. They work well, don't they? Killing the ghosts. Right, so, um, woo, woo. little by little, now Heiko, Heiko the crazy artist, has said he's about a week behind with his publicist and his new book. Christ knows what that's about, but um, one way or another, it gives us an extra week to get this thing ready, and that is a good thing because, um, we are running a little bit. Well, no, we're not running behind. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Doodly -doo, doodly -doo. Not bad for out in the field for 17 years. All seems to be working. And now I've got to do that puppy over there. I haven't got a template for that. So that'd be slightly harder. Yeah, we're planning on working right through the night tonight. Uh, Monday's gonna be a big day. A lot of stuff going. When are you working that one? What's your go like? Oh, that's had a new gearbox. Okay. Remember to write where the gearbox came from. 
See you, darling. So basically, you climb up on top of your abbot. This is for the gunner's side um, hatch in the roof. And you very, very carefully, symmetrically. So when you do one side, fold it and cut the two. And then when you unfold them, you know it's going to look right. And then kind of offer it up. And then a little bit of adjustment on the angles of the corners so they're in parallel. And now tape it down so it can't move. And then um, basically nip around it with a Stanley knife. I normally use closed cell foam and then I trim it with this green leatherette. And the closed cell foam doesn't... Um, pick up any water but this one when I've glued it in I'm then going to go around the edge with some of that black silicone and I put a nice bead all the way around and then I'll paint up to it I reckon it'll look great most of it's done with a Stanley knife but uh, to get through that fluffy bit a pair of scissors is good it's nice if people have been too shabby that should look nice in the uh, in the hatch well, it's coming on on the hatch pads, and I'm liking brown more and more. I'm just letting this stuff kind of go off. It's a contact adhesive. I'm obviously as high as a kite. How's night shift? Oh, I think Hello. all the wheels have been done. So we'll be spraying them in a minute too. It's coming on, it's coming on. In the cold light of day, it's Monday morning. Oh, looking good. That's, that's your um, jerking. You're jerking, all glued in. So this one here, this one here is going on a one-way holiday and uh, mechanically she's great. Paintwork's awful. Um, that one there was power wash yesterday night. So we should be able to swap them over and um, a crack on. Good road wheels, good tracks, low mileage, but some fool painted it without even, well, there you go. Needs must, who knows what the uh, history of that Open is. your back door, my Oh dear. Fuck. Oh dear, now this is one of these ones where all the stuff that they've been taking off scimitars, all the juicy stuff like wiper motors woo -woo, and things like that, all the juicy stuff that we haven't had on our scimitars for the last two years, they stuffed in the back of seven. I mean, that's one of those great big, can oh look, brilliant. look, the canopies go on the top. And that's just what we need, several of them. So all the juicy bits they've been taking off, they've been, um, they decided they didn't want them afterwards. So they stuffed them in the back of these, can be used for scrap items. Ho, ho, ho. Nothing scrap about that, is there, eh? No, there is No. Well, it looks like they're ramming big things into small holes. Dylan, you know what your jobs are today, don't you? Periscope holders. Uh, there's one just going in the workshop that he's doing right now. One's modified and painted. Leave the other one near the vice and I'll hack that up. Well done, boys, looking very nice. We've got a wet seat. Oh dear. How many ratchet straps do you use on a vehicle? Four. Okay, make sure you leave me with the shiny ones. And then they've got one in already. I think this is one of the scimitars. Yes. They want 20. It's a lot of scimitars. Yeah, that's how they do it. They have to be very low on fuel, disconnect the batteries, and then uh, ratchet strap them down. And uh, big fine, big fine if you've got fuel or um, batteries. I nearly got fined in Saudi Arabia. I was gonna send some uh, battery jump packs and uh, big no-no. No paint, nothing flammable, minimal fuel. Ring ding 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 ding. Nice vehicle that. Wiggly 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 wiggly. Ram it in there, boy. Ram it in there. Now you notice this one is green with light brown splodges rather than light brown with green splodges. Yes, there's a reason. Because it was so bloody clean. Um, it was easier to do it that way. Well done, Dylan! And there she is, in the line, ready for a booking. Ready for a booking near you. Isn't she posh? Ready for a booking near you. Now, what well, the boys have um, uh, removed stuff from the back of the Spartan. Yeah. 
and there's all sorts of juicy bits. Now this bit here looks like an electric power traverse for the uh, turret, how cool is that? That looks like, a, that's a thingy. You all know what a thingy is, don't you? And then this is one of these here sighting boxes. That's quite handy. And this is some sort of um, elevation twiddly diddly. And there's a horn, everybody likes a good horn. And there's a wiper motor, very, very rare. This looks like a, um, um, a thingy. This looks probably some sort of actuating ram. There's a horn. We talked about the horn, didn't we, rather a lot. Um, and then there's various brackets to hold various. Oh, there's another, there's another um, twiddly diddly. And um, all sorts of useful little bits and pieces. And then over on this side, we've got um, shell racking. And then we've got these things here. Magical. That's something to do with the uh, thingy on the back, the air filter, any outy. These are useful. Quite a lot of them had um, had the covers for the image intensifier missing, and that's a kind of a weight that can go instead. So it uh, could be useful. And then this is very. This is the uh, piece de la resistance. And then inside, I don't think there's anything much else. No. Just all the good stuff, all the good stuff. Oh, there's some stuff in here, look. Yes, but these are seat backs, the scimitars, so they don't go, they don't want to ever go in that. Hey, that seat, but the seat backs are in the racking, they need to come out. Then over here, is some clobber that came out of a, an earlier one that we uh, are wondering what to do with. Obviously, smoke dischargers, bin boxes, seat backs. Um, that they're nice, the image intensifiers. That was a uh, languishing the various bits of uh, trunking for the air so if there's anything that anyone sees in these bits and they are highly excited let me know and um and they could be yours i can see a nbc box over there and i can see a a, a rear that's the nbc box and then i can see this uh, back box goes on a scimitar quite nice you know incidentally you see those uh, front reflectors on ebay they are 30 pounds 30 pounds would you believe it so we'll let one go for um 25 yeah, yeah lots of useful stuff if anyone needs bits let me know well i've got a day out of the workshop so i'm going to see an abbot woohoo i like abbots and then i'm going to uh, go and see a pinsigar quite like pinsigars and then I'm going to drop off some Nazi marked flak barrels to uh, a mate of mine, Dan, Dan, the Diak man, because I haven't got a lot of use for them. And they sort of, anything in a box, no one ever sees because you leave it in the box. And they're in the box, so I don't want them. So, yes, a busy day. Instead of doing one job, I try and um, to kill three birds with one stone. So, if I'm going to leave the workshops, I'm going to get three things done, I hope. What are you doing, Dylan? A bit of washing. A bit of washing. If I bring my socks out, could you flush them around inside that box and then hang them out after? Put it on heat. So We're playing shuffle again. Well, that's not bad in two days. You look happy in that. Very happy. Dan, have you got a stiff one? Yeah. Okay, well, what you have to do is undo this and then turn the bolt round so you don't knacker up the, uh, the the head of it and then smack it through a bit. And then sometimes, sometimes... It is. Well, you, yeah, yeah, we'll have a go with that. But sometimes you can just oil it and go up and down, but there's a lot of friction in there. Yeah, I think I'll take it apart and do it properly. You have to be careful. Actually, these are better because it's got a little spring-loaded thing in there. Yeah. On a 4 through 2 It will never go again. It will never go again. It will never go again. <laughs> of course. Faith. You've got to decide whether it's uh, quicker to cut a piece out like that. Because I'd have to do a bit of welding afterwards anyway. Or remove the two bin boxes and take that shield out. And do you know what? I decided it was definitely cutter, quicker to cut that out get a piece of radio rack, the same thickness, and then fold a bit and weld it in. Um, you could measure it all and uh, mark it all out and do all that kind of thing. But if you've got a good eye, you shouldn't need to. 
Yeah. Where's me bend? Me bend is about there. You could measure it all and uh, mark it all out and do all that kind of thing. But if you've got a good eye, you shouldn't need to. Yeah. Where's me bend? Me bend is about there. you spend a load of money on a trailer and you think ooh, six wheels and alley wheels they've got to be good and then when you've had it a little while it all starts going wrong and you go for this big winch thinking oh that'd be cool and then the bastard doesn't work now if i'd have had a hand one yeah maybe i'd have had a heart attack but i would have got a warning but this no warning just stops bloody working and I'm out to pick this beautiful little car up, one owner from you, 20,000 miles. And um, that's a lie. And, um, 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 and I'm buggered. And even this bit's not working. And um, not a very good advert for the company that flogged it to me. I've checked that thing there. That is definitely working. That, that on the offy switchy. And I've got the, uh, I've repaired me uh, on the lead thingy. And um, beep, beep. Nothing's bloody working. It's not good. Now this is why you're getting rid of your car. I've had it for a few years now. I'm just decided it's time for an upgrade. After. Up time for an upgrade. Yeah, and yeah. what are you going to get? Uh, looking at a nice little Bentley. Skoda. I wish. I wish. A little no? Skoda. A few Skoda. Years. Yeah, a few years. Have ago. you been talking to Ashley? I haven't. No. no oh God! Much. Another Skoda owner. It's terrible. And it's done just twenty thousand miles. It was your granddad's. Yeah, about twenty-two thousand. Yeah, yeah twenty-two thousand. You yeah. just had enough of it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bigger and better. Things, yeah. bigger and better. This could go to Africa, really, and um, yeah. it could do a nice big African family yeah. uh, very well for a long time. And if it was a big family, they could push it, <laughs> which would be very handy. Thank so you. it's just run out of fuel and you've had enough. That's it, mate. Well done. That's yeah. the best way. Be ruthless. That's it. Never soften to your car's desires. That's as soon as it starts messing you around, like running out of fuel, thrash it with. In fact, there's a bush there. Give it a good thrashing and it'll teach all the other cars around here a damn good lesson just to pull their socks up and be reliable. Good well done. Right. Come to daddy. Almost a shame to run it over. But there you go, got to be ruthless, haven't you? Which is more important? Um, and keeping someone happy for their special anniversary, probably mothering day, crush, or keeping cars like this on the road. And it's red. I mean, no one wants to drive a red car, do they? A bit too garish. Want something more subtle.